Hello, I am Tom O'Callaghan, and I am the CFO here at General Mills, and today I am here to talk to you about ethics, and most importantly, ethics in the workplace. This is a very important discussion, because without having the proper ethical guidelines and uh, getting all of our employees on the same page, we cannot run a successful company. So by discussing ethics and uh, practicing these ethical ways of working, we will create a better workplace where we can get the best work done and make our company better than everyone else. The example of an ethical situation that I will use today is one that is very personal to me because it happened to me many years ago when one of my employees decided to break into a company terminal to access confidential information regarding the salaries of executives in the company just like myself. This could have been very bad because he could have accessed any information that he had about me or any of my fellow colleagues. Here is a representation of what happened that day. Yes! What you just saw was the employee breaking to the terminal to access these files. His actions were completely out of line and broke his contract. When we asked him why he did it, he said he was just curious. And he told us that he did not use this information anywhere, which we later checked and saw that he did not use this information. But now this puts us in a curious ethical spot because we have to make a plan of action to go against this employee after doing what he has done. After interviewing the employee, we had a meeting with other executives to try and decide what we will do with this employee. After much discussion and taking into account the employee's interview, we decided to make a final statement and we said, we thought that this employee's behavior was completely out of line and violated his contract. Accessing confidential files is one thing, but is another thing to break into a company terminal to do so. And he said he was just curious, but in my opinion, it was curiosity that killed the cat. So we decided to let this employee go and move on with our other endeavors. Even though this employee has put out exceptional work through as many years at the company, we decided that we could not let him stay because of his actions and by the way he broke into the terminal. We thought that he was a liability because if he could do this, what could he do next? As you can see, that when it comes to ethical situations, there is no straight path towards it. I wish I had never been put in that situation, and I wish that he had never put himself in that situation. But nonetheless, I had to deal with it. And we had to go with our workplace ethical guidelines in order to take our plan of action. I believe that ethics are very important, especially when it comes to the workplace. That's why it is important to read your company ethics handbook and to try to do your work as ethical as possible. Thank you for listening today, and enjoy the rest of your week.